Parsec Smart's application for self-provisioning and auto-deprovisioning Cisco IP phones is a unique application through which new employees who join an organization can self-provision and activate a Cisco IP phone on its allotted desk. And also, whenever an employee, ex or I mean, an existing employee, moves from one desk to another desk, or like can, he can move from one branch of the organization to another branch of the organization, he can once again self-provision. And the existing DN which he was using in his previous desk to this new device which has been allocated to his new desk. And another feature of this application is that whenever a uh, employee or organization uh, leaves an organization based on the uh, HR department feedback and or a notice to the IT department, the IT administrator can remotely deprovision the Cisco IP phone which was being used by the employee. Now all this can be done through a web-based interface as you can see in front of you. The two web-based interface, one is for the users for self-provisioning an IP phone and the other one is the uh, web-based interface for admin for deprovisioning an IP phone. So here we, we are taking the example of uh, self-provisioning an IP phone and the, the device that we are using out here is a Cisco IP communicator soft phone. As you see in the soft phone, the DN is not registered out here. It's through this application, we will self provision a DN to this particular device. This application works for both uh, soft phone as well as for hard Cisco IP phones. So the employee logs in to this application through using his credentials. this user interface all that the employee needs to uh, enter is the device name of the device which has been allocated to him on his desk and the phone number which he can select from a list of available uh, phone numbers or DNs in a drop down list. Now for example I select 4098 which needs to be allocated to me and I need to enter the device name of this particular uh, device here for example <coughs> sorry here it's the Cisco IP communicator I select a device name and go back to my screen just enter my device name and on submit of this request for self provisioning of this uh, DN against my selected uh, or allocated IP phone. The device DN gets registered to the IP phone and also an email is sent out automatically uh, to do a set of uh, re registered email IDs to which uh, email is sent out by the application which contains the email contents the user who has self provisioned the DN which he has selected and the IP address of the call manager to which this DN. Uh, or, or the phone is registered to. So here we see a successful provisioning has been completed and as a DN which is select was 4098 we can see that this DN has been registered automatically by the application and also we will find an email is sent out to the pre-configured users or it can be the IT administrator okay, regarding this self-provisioning here is the email which is sent there you see but employee hurry demo has self-provisioned a device with this particular device name and is selected the DNS 4098 and is the IP address of the call manager to which this particular device is registered to. So it's a process of self provisioning an IP phone. Now, now we can see that for example this employee leaves the organization now and the HR department team informs the IT department team that this particular employee has left the organization and this any uh, the device which this employee was using needs to be deprovisioned. So this can be uh, done through another web based interface, just the admin interface. In this admin interface, you can see the administrator has a list of all the phones that has been provisioned. Now, to deprovision a phone, all it needs to do 
is select this particular employees uh, record and let's say deprovision so once again we'll just show you so we're going to deprovision this particular device 4098 as you can see here the device is 4098 and on submitting the request the application successfully deprovisions the phone you can see there you can see the DM gets the registered from that particular device so has a device can be used by anyone else again till it is self provisioned again and also an email is sent out to the same set of configured users regarding this action taken See. device has been deprovisioned for this employee for this device name and for this DA number so these are different processes through which uh, I mean the features which of this application for self provisioning and deprovisioning of devices through this application